What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's still doing well and staying safe and healthy out there. Today I want to work on this particular tune. This is Joe Henderson's Black Narcissist. And we're gonna go through um, we're gonna go through a chord melody arrangement, a little brief chord melody, because the, the melody is not that long or or, or intricate. But uh, I was just exploring some different ways to incorporate the harmony uh, along with the melody. Um, particularly cool for trio playing as well as uh, duo playing or even solo guitar playing. Um, so let's go through Black Narcissus and uh, here we go. Let's go through um, this chord melody statement of Black Narcissus. Um, before we start, I'd like to say, like this, this tune is a really hip, uh, really kind of like melancholy, almost like a, in my mind it reminds me like of a fairy tale. It's very, uh, very daunting. Um, with that said, it's not, in my opinion, it's not as hip to try to burn bop lines through it because it kind of takes away to do that would kind of take away from the uh the mystique of the song in my opinion but you uh, of course as a soloist and as an improviser you you take your the approach that you hear in your head <clears throat> but um but that's just my opinion so as we go through this um i chose to do this because i like the counter melody approach that I'm taking, I'd like to try to add as many or play as many chords play as many chords as possible with the chord melody um, provided that it makes sense uh, right so then you have the E major 7 sharp 11 simple on that part which still sounds great that's what I did on the uh, performance part the trickiest uh, part of this chord melody is to playing all of this which is really not that tricky once you get it under your fingers of course like anything else right um, so that's pretty much that's the tune um, the you can you can really stretch a toy with with the harmony on this part is because the melody note is is remaining that B flat uh, note, so you can go. You can play. Do the same thing here. You can, which is really hip. That right. 
right there. Then you can go back to the, I would go back to this part, which is uh, already kind of intricate in itself. But I, I like the idea of, of messing around because you have that pedal tone or pedal note right there. You can you can really do anything you want to do with that um, because the bass player is play, still playing that still playing that bass figure. So you can play. That's killer to me. Um, but that's me. <laughs> You're still playing the melody. And that and that also adds to um, just the the uh, that adds more harmonic interest than just simply playing. Which is great too. That's that's still part of the melody. Um, you're still playing the song. encourage you to toy around with that um, and then whatever sounds hip to you um, you know just make that your own chord melody so when you're performing it it's yours um, it's not anybody else's chord melody interpretation or um, arrangement so hopefully that helps black narcissists um, dig the, the actual original tune um, Joy, uh, um, Joe Henderson sorry uh, and uh, there's a few other recorded versions out there uh, as well, but of course I would always reference the original first. So um, hopefully that helps and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>